What's going on guys? Welcome back to another awesome video. I just, oh my God, I just stepped on that. Today we have something so exciting. I have been waiting for literally a year to show you guys this. We have another addition to the backyard ponds and that is an above ground pool pond, a 10 foot one to be exact. We already have the little pond over there and we have the koi pond in the front. Now we have a pool pond, which we're gonna have huge exotic fish. The fish in there, they're just, they're tiny, they're cool, but this pond right here is going to have the action in it. This is where some cool stuff is going to go down. Me and Christian set this up yesterday and we finally got it started. This has been sitting in my garage in the box for over a year, I think. I've just been putting it off for so long because, you know, I had to buy a pump for all that and I had to get a filter and it was just, it seemed like a lot of work, but we finally got it started. All we need now is a pump and a filter and we're literally ready to put fish in it. We're going to also put, you know, obviously we're going to make it look nice once everything is technically done. We're just going to make it look pretty, put some bamboo around it, put some mulch, you know, some plants maybe. I also have an idea that I want to put like a big platform made out of wood like in the back so you can climb up it and sit on the platform and get like a bird's eye view of the pond. I think that would be sick. Lots of lots of plans for this pond in the future, guys. Yeah, Christian's heading over now and we're gonna get the supplies and try to build this filtration system for the pond today. And then hopefully in the next video, the pond will be ready and we'll be putting fish in it. If you guys have any ideas on what fish you wanna see in the pond, let me know in the comments, please, because I really want some good suggestions right now. All I know that I want is bass, peacock bass, and that's pretty much it. I mean, the possibilities are endless with this pond because it's so big. Definitely going to be deep enough. I mean, that is, that is definitely a big pond right there. Before we build the filtration system and get the pond ready, a uh, quick message from today's sponsor because literally without them, this would not be possible because they sent the pump for the pond. Today's sponsor is Aquair and they sent me a pump here which we're gonna use to create the filtration system in the pond. Basically water gets sucked in through here and it travels through the hose and we're gonna connect the pipes right here to this end of the hose and run it through the trash can. You'll see how we do that. Yeah, this is the pump that will literally run the filtration system in the pond and we're gonna show you how we're gonna build that. This is all the supplies we got. We got a trash can, we got a bin with sponges, we got more padding and we got some pipes. Oh, look at that. If you guys need a pump for if you're building like a pond or you have a pond like this, I mean, every pond, every tank requires a pump. So if you're looking for a pump for a fish tank or a pond or whatever you need, check out the link in the description and I'll have this pump link to you. As you can see, it pumps 264 gallons per hour. So this thing will keep the pond extremely, extremely clear. So shout out to Aquiar guys. Without them, we literally wouldn't be doing this video right now because without this pump, this pond is impossible. Anyways, let's get started started on this filtration system and hopefully we can be done with it today and we can get the pond actually running. All right, Christian's doing some pipe stuff. You want to explain what you're doing real quick? I don't really know how. <laughs> so I'm kind of just making it so like I drill holes in here so the water when it comes through the top, it kind of like gets spread yeah, out Yeah, it's like, it's like a sprinkler system, one would say, you know? I, I know what I'm talking about here. While Christian does like the, you know, easy stuff, I'm actually going to be doing something very tedious and, and hard to do right now, which is which is take these sponges out of the packages. There we go. Look at that. I'm literally doing everything here. Look at him fiddling around with freaking pipes. Like, what? Hello, if you're confused why I'm putting sponges into a plastic bin, well, you'll stay confused because I'm not telling you. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually, it's actually like a little filtration system. Basically, these sponges will soak up a lot of the, you know, just dirt and debris from the pond. And then we also have other methods of filtration we'll have in the trash bin as well, such as this stuff. This is like an AC pad filter, and we're just going to lay that in there as an extra layer, and we're actually going to get some other stuff. So yeah, this, this stuff is going to clean the pond. How's your pipe stuff coming? It's coming along. All right, that sounds great. You know, washes through that. It's just gonna sit on the bottom and they're in the water, it just washes. So That's washes true. Up. So you have to like lift it up. That's very true. Okay, so go ahead and lift that up. Yeah, so we put the terracotta pot down there. It's gonna sit on top And we it. sit that on there so nothing gets trapped in the bottom. It just sits there and, you know, creates dirt. I just cut up a bunch of foam pieces to put in here with the sponges to create even more filtration. See guys, to make stuff like this, you can just use a bunch of stuff laying around in the house, you know, and just make it work. I mean, this this is gonna work so good. This is perfect filtration. Now basically we're gonna put that on the bottom and then put this over top of it so it's like double layers of filtration. Looks good to me. 
we need another layer of bricks here so that the hole here will be over and we'll go into the pond. We're making some progress here. We got the uh, trash can on top of our platform we got and we got the pump in there. We're gonna run the, uh, we're gonna run the pipe out and then up and then into the trash can. go okay uh, i think we're ready here we got our aquarium pump in there obviously down the road we're gonna plant stuff here and make it look all nice have bamboo around it all right guys we got the i'm pretty sure everything is gonna work right we just tested it once and it looked okay so here we go we got the extension cord we got the pump cord we're gonna see if our contraption works. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one. I hear it, I hear it. Come here. Oh yeah, that's working. Dude, that is pumping out fast. Here it comes, here comes the water. <laughs> yes, we got it, look at that. Now we just gotta, you know, make it all pretty, but it actually works, look at it. All right guys, so, I have an idea. I have that Midas cichlid in the pond right there. And if you don't know what a Midas cichlid is, we'll show you right now. But I think I'm gonna try to catch him out and put him into this pond because we never even see him in that one because he just hides all the time. So I'm gonna see if I can put him in this pond right now and he'll be the first ever fish in the pond. I see him down there. Oh. What, you see him? Yo, wait, hold this, hold this. I think I can just grab him. He's being stupid right now. I got him. I just, I just grabbed him with my hand. Oh look. Yo, he, he got like black on his fins ever since I, he didn't have that when I put him in, did he? Let's go quick. Go, go, go. First fish in the pond. Yo, I can't believe I caught that with my hand. I know, that's kind of weird. All right, here we go. Guys, this is big. This is the first fish in the new pool pond. The Midas cichlid. There we have it guys. There is the first fish in our new pond. Now what I'm gonna do guys is fill up some buckets of the koi pond water and transfer it into our new pool pond just to get some things started just because this is already a built-up ecosystem and it's a thriving pond. It's got all the nutrients and whatnot that a good pond needs. So we're just gonna give that pond a head start and fill up some buckets of this water. There we go. I'll probably do like two more buckets of these. Number two. And this will be the last bucket. There we go. So if you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.